Welcome to Instrumentation Tools. Open the app Quiz Meter. So in the previous videos, we have seen a PLC true or false statements and we have crossed at most three levels. Today we are going to see the fourth level. For that, go to the PLC. There is an option here, no? In under the quiz zone, go to that. So in that you have to choose the first one PLC two or false. So you can see level one, level two, level three are highlighted and level four is enabled and the remaining levels are disabled. So we have to cross one by one. So since we have completed all three levels, level four is enabled. So in this video, we are going to see the level four. So let's move to the level four questions. So the first question what we are having here is a specialized IVO modules are designed for general purpose application and are not tailored for any specific device or sensor. So the first word see the first word specialized IVO modules. So a specialized IVO modules cannot be a generalized one. Correct. So for the generalized one only we are having a normal digital IVO module or analog IVO module. So a specialized IVO module is only for the specific device and sensors. So I can tell the specific devices like thermocouple, encoders or any other you know, specialized equipment. They include unique hardware or a software adaption that allow them to interface accurately and efficiently with these specialized devices unlike general purpose IVO modules. So the answer to the question is actually false. That means a specialized IVO modules are tailor made for specific devices or sensors. So I'm going with the answer false. So we have a second question here. IVO addressing in PLC determines the physical location of the IVO modules. So IVO addressing in the PLC determines that means uh, IVO module IVO module will be having the slots kind of you know a nut will be there where you are going to connect your sensor. So obviously it will be indicates the physical location. Why? Because I am connecting one sensor to one of the slot, kind of one of the input we are connecting. Suppose you, uh, example, let's take uh, a digital IVO module, eight, you know, eight input uh, digital IVO module. That means you can able to connect eight inputs in that IVO module, you know, uh, input module. So in that one of the input you are connecting to the first, uh, you know, input. So that means how come a PLC understand you have connected that to the first input? So a PLC is having the ability to understand that particular input is connected to this slot. I mean if that is connected to the zero, zeroth input and you will be having some particular address for that zeroth slot. So you have to use that particular address in the PLC. That means a PLC can able to get the value from that slot if the input is turned on. It will automatically you know uh, because of the user return program it can able to read the input. So the answer to the question is true. Yes, a PLC determines the physical location of the IVO modules. So I'm going with the answer true. So we have a third question here. Digital IVO modules in the PLC are used for dealing with continuous signals like temperature and you know pressures etc. So a uh, temperature and pressure these signals are the continuous signals as they have given in the question itself these signals are the continuous signals and we have seen uh, in one of our previous videos that analog modules are responsible for these kind of continuous signals and now what they have given is the digital IVO modules. So digital IVO modules can only deal with the binary not continuous. So I am going with the answer false. So we have a fourth question here. 
IO modules in PLC are only available as separate physical component and cannot be integrated into the PLC's main unit. So we have a two types of PLC. One is a integrator type, another one is a modular type. So IO module in a PLC can be both separate physical component or integrated into the PLC because compact or small scale PLC may have integrated IOs the CPU itself having the input and output ports while a modular or a large scale PLC will be having a separate IO modules so the answer to the question is false So we have a fifth question here. Redundant IO module are used to increase the processing speed of the PLC system. So the, the word redundant is the kind of a backup or a fail safe condition. In a fail safe condition, this particular module will be taking care. You know, where the process has stopped, it will be taking care. This redundant IO module will be taking care. So, this is not to increase the processing speed, but rather to enhance the reliability and availability by having a backup or failover option. They ensure that the failure is one part of the system, doesn't lead to the complete loss of functionality, minimizing downtime and maintaining the system performance. So, I am going with the answer, false. Next question, analog output modules are used to control devices like motors, solenoids and relays that require continuous control signals. So analog output modules, okay, that will be dealing with the continuous control signals. But the devices what they have given in the questions are, you know, motors, solenoids and relays. All these three are working with the binary signals, not the continuous signals. Okay, so for uh, you know continuous analog output means you can go for the VFT kind of. So the answer to the question is actually false. So seventh question, expansion IO module allows for addition of more inputs and outputs to the PLC system as needed. So expansion, the name itself is telling, right? Expansion IO modules allows for the addition of more inputs. So uh, let's take the integrated uh, uh, kind of PLC, okay? In the integrated type of PLC. You may have 8 cross 8, 8 input, 8 output. So in your application, you have chosen the integrated type of PLC, but your application requires 2 more outputs or 5 more input and outputs means you can go for the expansion module. So that expansion module will be having some 8 cross 8 inputs and outputs so you can connect with your CPU so that is the expansion module so the function is the addition of more inputs and outputs so the answer to the question is true so we have a remote IO module remote IO modules in the PLC require direct wiring to the main PLC rack so the name is telling that remote IO module. So if it, if the IO module is in the remote, how come we can connect direct wiring to the main PLC? So it, it is not at all possible, right? Remote means it will be far from the field, correct? So far from the field and direct connection is obviously not. But how they are going to connect by using a communication networks, not a direct wiring. They may use some, you know, communication protocols to get the, you know, link between that remote IO modules and your PLC. So this allows for flexibility in system design and reduce the complex wiring, especially in distributed control system where IO points may be spread over the large area. So the answer to the question is false. So we have a ninth question here. Specialized IO modules allows PLC to interfere with specific type of devices such as encoders, thermocouples, etc. So, 
yeah specialized ivo modules we have seen in one of the question in the same level that uh, you know specialized ivo modules are tailor made for some specific devices like thermocouples and encoders so the answer to the question is true so we have a last question digital input modules are used to connect devices like push buttons switches and sensors that provides a binary signal so digital iv module digital input modules will be dealing with the binary signals so uh, since they have given the input modules we have devices like push button and switches so both are and sensors all these are the input devices only so i'm going with the answers true so we are done with all 10 questions so yes we have 10 out of 10 here you can see the percentage and uh, yeah so here we are having an option to move to the next level that means we are done with the four four level right the next fifth level will get enabled and immediately it will start if you press this next level and you can review the answers by clicking on this so you will be having all the 10 questions and the explanation of that if you have any doubt in the questions you can go and review the answers and also you can share your score with your friends and you can ask your friends also join in this and they can also enjoy these plc true or false statements so if you like the video kindly like and share our you know subscribe our channel and i'll meet you in the next session with another interesting level thank you